What's up, you freaking you? <laughs> What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to write a polynomial in standard form. All right. So, let's start with this first example right here. So, we have 5x plus 2 minus 6x squared plus 3x to the fourth. All right. So, the way you write these in standard form is you basically just order their exponents from greatest or biggest to smallest. Okay. So, as you can see here, 5x, the x basically has a 1 on it. The 2 is just a constant, so those always go at the end, okay? And then here we have negative 6x squared, so there's a 2 right there, and then 3x to the 4th. Okay, so we're going to list these from biggest to smallest, okay? So the biggest one is obviously this one right here, the 4, right? So then 3x to the 4th goes first, okay? Next one is negative 6x squared, right? So negative or minus 6x squared. Done with that one. Then we go 5x to the first, and that's a positive, so plus 5x. And then the numbers always go at the end, so plus 2. Okay, so now this is written in standard form. Now the other two things we're going to do are find this expression's degree and leading coefficient. Okay, so the degree is basically just whatever is the biggest exponent. So in this case, the biggest exponent is the 4, right? So that's your degree. So the degree is equal to 4. Now, the other thing we're going to find is the leading coefficient, which I'll just abbreviate as LC. So the leading coefficient is after you've written it in standard form, which we just did, right? Whatever coefficient is at the very beginning. So that's right there, right? The 3. So then your leading coefficient is equal to 3. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's try one more. So up here we have 10n to the third power minus n to the seventh power plus 15 plus n. Okay, so again, the way you write these in standard form is just order the exponents from biggest to smallest. So the biggest one is the 7, right? So that means I'm going to write this negative n to the seventh. Okay, always remember to attach the sign with your term right here. So this is going to be negative n to the seventh. That's what goes first. And then the next biggest would be 10n cubed, and this is positive, right? So plus 10n cubed, and then after that, we have this n to the first, right? So then plus n, plus n, and then again, the constants always go at the end. So plus 15 goes at the end. Okay, so now that this is written in standard form, now we can find the degree and the leading coefficient, okay? so. Again, the degree is just your biggest exponent here. So in this case, it's going to be 7, right? And then again, the leading coefficient is whatever coefficient you have at the very beginning right here. And as you can see, there's no coefficient written, right? So whenever there's no coefficient written, you can always assume that it's a 1. There's basically a hidden 1 right there, okay? And since we have this negative sign right here, then it's going to be negative 1, right? So the leading coefficient is equal to negative one. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.